for the sign of Pisces. Hello and welcome to my channel. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So, Pisces, in the recent past, we got the Six of Cups. Now, Six of Cups is paired with the Seven of Swords. Six of Cups is a card about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always connected with children or childhood. So it's going to be important, or it was important in the recent past, for you not to spend too much time, effort, and energy thinking about the good old days, because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can actually become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, the Seven of Swords... It's a card about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you feel that someone is spying on you, then you could be right. And if you're tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, you just might want you just may want to resist the impulse. Because we know everyone deserves privacy. Now with these two cards paired together, six of cups, clarified by the seven of swords. I'm showing that in the recent past you dealt with someone um, this person, wow, with the Seven of Swords here, they were manipulative. You dealt with someone who was manipulative, um, strategic, they played mind games. Yeah, they um they could have stalked you or spied on you. Uh, yeah, less than ethical behavior towards you. Mind games, manipulative, and a lot of being very strategic. Yeah, so someone played games. It felt like you were dealing with someone who played games with you, but maybe you knew this person for... A long time maybe they were a childhood friend and you've grown up together somebody that you had happy memories with yeah a lot of happy memories with this person but you found out they that they were um, doing things behind your back being really sneaky or just played a lot of mind games or very manipulative but on the flip side so many happy memories with the six of cups here a lot of happy memories with this person. You could have felt like they were a soulmate or someone you knew from a past life. When you first met this person, you two probably just hit it on or clicked on or clicked off. or You clicked on, not off, but you clicked right away. Like you've been knowing each other for, for all of your life. Someone you were very comfortable with and familiar, but you found out that they were doing things behind your back. Very, very strategic. Yeah, sneaky type of person. Now, that's a recent past. Let's get off of that. Or it may show up in the reading. But let's see. Now, for the present time, Hierophant clarified by the Page of Cups. Now, the Hierophant is considered a... Um, a very moral type of energy. It could be that you might feel like searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend when this type of person is called on for help or advice. With some important matters, their intelligence and their empathy puts them in a position to provide a whole lot of support. So this could be you, you or someone coming towards you or someone that you know who's quick-witted, well-educated, well educated a wise teacher marked by integrity this type of person they're the genuine article a true blue highly admired individuals they walk the walk talk the talk and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions now the hierophant is clarified by page of cups page of cups is basically just showing the need to play dream and have some fun when you get this card it can sometimes mean that you've been taking yourself way too serious there's a poet that once said the one thing i've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work serious and taking oneself serious now the first is imperative and the second it can be a disaster so pisces coming up for the present time which this is an october reading 
Hierophant clarified by Page of Cups. So, I don't know if you're still dealing with this person from the recent past, because the recent past could have been a week ago, a month ago, six months ago, or maybe just three months ago. I don't know if you're still dealing with them, but because of the downside of that connection, you're now looking for something more traditional, more loyal, more ethical. Um, you're looking for a person or a type of energy in people that um, you can trust. Yeah, like this Hierophant. Yeah, someone who's more true and genuine. Because what you went through with this person from the recent past, it probably really messed you up. Yeah, because at one time things were really great between you and this person. Then all of a sudden you just flipped or you found out that they just flipped or you found out that they had a dark side that didn't agree with the connection. So, yeah, right for right now, it looks like you just want something more, more honest. Someone could be coming towards you like this. Or you may know someone like this. You could be thinking about someone like this. And you're ready to just have fun. Because you went through some mess with this person from the recent past. It must have really messed you up because, you, like I said, you had a lot of happy memories with, with this person. And it just turned out to be kind of crazy. Yeah, crazy. This person started being really manipulative and just playing games. So, yeah, now you just kind of want to hang loose and have fun. And um, you could have someone loyal coming towards you, or you could be just hoping for something more genuine. No one, no one who would play games with you like that again. Now, that's the present time. Let's move on over. Let's see what we got for the challenge. We've got the Eight of Swords and the Hangman. Now, this Eight of Swords, it can mean that you could choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you, whether it's a relationship, could be a job, it could be a neighborhood, there could be some sadness involved, but the separation is going to be in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead. And if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, or living arrangement, trust yourself instead of this coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, this card it usually means that you're the one who will make the choice. Because when one door closes, it has to do that before the next door in front of you can fully open. Now let's pair with the hangman. Well, when you get the hangman, it's showing that you're at a crossroads, one with only two options, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea. You absolutely have no idea what it is to do, what it is or how to do it. Now, if this does happen, it's a sign that you should stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life. Maybe situations or some people or things. It could be that it's possible that there's an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. Any sacrifice that you make is going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So this should be a very thoughtful, reflective time. Especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might serve your, your own best interest by being willing to change. It's with the uh, Eight of Cups and the Hangman. That's what we got for the challenge. So, yeah, it looks like you could um, decide to leave this connection behind. Just walk away. Because it causes a lot of confusion. Yeah, this, I'm picking up a lot of you are still dealing with that energy. Or dealing with this person from the recent past. Um, that just messed you up. This was someone who you thought you knew. Now you're all confused. You're looking for some someone more genuine. And you're just stuck in your head. So the outcome. Um, Eight of Swords and the Devil card. So 
you're holding yourself back now because you're afraid to move into their future or be because you're afraid of getting hurt by a new situation or it could be for no reason at all. So you're stuck in, you're still stuck in your head. Yeah, but you, you're choosing to leave this connection behind. Put it all behind you because it didn't make sense. Something sometimes when you can't explain what happened or why it happened. Sometimes the best thing for you to do is just put it behind you and that looks like that's what you're doing because it's causing you to be stuck in your head and you're afraid to move on to the next. You're, per you're afraid to put one foot in front of the other and just walk to the next door or walk to the next opportunity. You're confused. So, yeah, the devil card is here. This person is showing that they had a ditch. They had some type of obsession about you. And you probably didn't even know it. Yeah, this devil card is about obsession. They had some strong obsession about you or toward you. Yeah, this person was obsessed with you, Pisces. We got two cards here where it's just crazy obsession. You got the stalker card and then you got this devil card. So they had some hmm, toxic energy towards you or about you yeah so now you just search for maybe the meaning of life this person really messed your head up because you thought it was probably maybe you thought it was someone that uh, you could see a future with because there were so many happy memories with this person and at one point you thought they were genuine and honest and loyal you had a lot of fun with this person but yeah they turned out to be something that you didn't expect they were they were or they still are obsessed with you they might still be stalking you watching you um, but yeah they played games with you mind games manipulation they were strategic Yeah, so, in time, you'll get over this situation. Hopefully it won't be too long because, as we all know, life waits for, time waits for no one. 